Welcome, friends, to my Christmas Kitchen Decorate With Me Part 2. If you missed my Part 1 that I posted this past Monday, I'll link it below in my description box. In that video, I started my Christmas decorating here in the kitchen. Today's video will be turning my coffee bar area into a fun Christmas cocoa bar using some of my favorite Pioneer Woman pieces. Let me know in the comment section if you also love the Pioneer Woman line at Walmart. It's really one of my favorite home decor lines. I'm a sucker for a floral print, and because she does incorporate so much floral, I do love a lot of her pieces. Okay, so let's quickly clear out this area. I really wanted to keep the tray that I'm using now and just add a black tiered tray. But as you can see, the tear tray was just a little bit too wide, so I'll have to bring in another tray to use. But first, let's take a second and wipe down this area with some Mrs. Meyers Peppermint All-Purpose Cleaner. I love using some type of banner on the back of my coffee bar area on the backsplash. It just kind of fills up that area a little bit. And I've got two Pioneer Woman banners, one that I used last year and then a new one that I picked up. So let me show you both of them and I'm not real sure which one I'm going to use, but let me show them to you. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to use this one. This is also a Pioneer Woman. I picked this up last year at the end of the season. So I may use this one, but this is the one I used last year. And isn't it precious? It has like these little cloth trees on it. I absolutely love this garland also. So many choices. So I'm going to try this one. And well, I know what this one's going to look like. Let's just try this one first and see if this might be the one we go with this year. Okay, this one's rather short. It's not as long as the other one, so we'll see if it actually fits. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with this one, guys. It's absolutely adorable. So I'll go with this one this year since I used the other one last year. I just love it. I just keep these little command hooks up there. Um, so those were already there, and it's a little bit too long, but I just kind of made it work in here. So Okay, so there's our first decor piece up. Now let's work on what tray we're going to use and go from there. Okay, I think I'm going to try to use this tray. I've never actually used this tray here on my coffee bar before, but I like it that it's oval and it's flat. So let's see if this might work this year. And I went ahead and changed out my lamps and I brought in this little black lamp. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave my mug holder right here. I'll fill it up with all of my holiday mugs. And what I did with my lamp, I wanted a little bit more height, so I just placed a little wooden riser underneath it. And so now that we have kind of the bones of our coffee bar ready, so let's start decking out this cocoa bar with everything we need for hot chocolate and fill it up with some really cute decor. Okay, so for the star of the show, I'm going to use this tree again. Oh my goodness, I used this last year and I absolutely love it. And I'm going to put it kind of right there to cover up um, that little thing there. It doesn't look that bad, but this will cover that up and add a little height back here to our coffee bar. Okay, so now that we've got her placed, let's, uh, I'm going to put a little Lazy Susan here that will have all of my cocoa condiments on it. Okay, I actually got this little Lazy Susan from the Dollar Spot at Target um, probably about a year ago, guys, and I've never really used it. I thought, well, I'm going to pick it up because I love Lazy Susans, but I've never have used it anywhere, and I think the white, the, I think the light oak on here will go well with my um, mug holder, so look how sweet this is. So I finally have a place to use this Lazy Susan. Okay, and something else I had picked up at the same time I picked this up was this sweet little canister. Isn't it so cute? I love the light wood on it. Also, the little spoon. It's going to be perfect for us to put our cocoa mix in. And, of course, it's going to go along with the wood on the Lazy Susan. So adorable. So let's get this filled up with our candy cane hot cocoa mix. Yummy, yummy. Can't wait to try this.
Now, I'm also going to use these glass jars with these gorgeous little wooden tops. I got these off of Amazon about a year ago. So this one's going to hold some marshmallows, and let me show you what this one's going to hold. Oh my goodness, friends. Look what Derek brought home for me from Sam's. He knew I was going to be having this hot cocoa bar, and how sweet of him. These are just going to be perfect. Let me see if you can see them. They're called Hot Chocolate Bombs. Look how big they are. And it says that you just drop the unwrapped bomb and place into mug, pour six ounces of hot milk slowly over the bomb, and watch it dissolve. And then enjoy. Stir until everything is mixed, sip, and enjoy. Oh my goodness. These are gonna be so fun for the grandkids and so fun for myself. Okay, then I'm gonna add these sweet little sprinkles that I got at Walmart. All I did is it had like a little sticker on the front of it and I just peeled it off. So, isn't that so sweet, that little Christmas tree? And then just to add a little hot chocolate and marshmallows, that will complete our little Lazy Susan. How adorable, guys. So cute. And just to kind of cover up those wires that are back there, I'm gonna add a little height by using this warm and cozy little cup and I picked up these little white chocolates, and I don't know what kind of sticks they are. They might be pretzels on the inside, I'm not sure, but they absolutely look delicious. And then, who, you have to have candy at a cocoa bar, right? So I'll just place those right there to kind of cover up those wires. How sweet is that? Okay, and I almost forgot, but I need some coffee K-cups sitting here, so I'm gonna take this rather large mug that says Merry Christmas on it, and I picked up some of this holiday peppermint bark coffee. So I'll add a couple of K-cups into this mug. Okay, now let's fill up my mug holder with some of my favorite coffee mugs. If you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know that I just love adding goodies to my, my coffee bar or my cocoa bar. And this year is no exception. I'm gonna use this pretty little Here Comes Santa plate, and I'm gonna add my favorite Christmas candy, which is Pecan Divinity. I have the best memories growing up. I had a really good friend named LaJonna. We called her Nene. So if you're watching today, um, let us know in the comment section. But her mother would make homemade divinity. Let me get this off. Oh gosh. Okay. Her mother would make homemade divinity and she would put it in Folgers cans. And oh my goodness, that stuff was amazing. We would just take spoons and just eat it. Pass it around and eat it out of that Folgers can. It's just some of my favorite memories. Miss Maxie is gone now, but I cherish those memories of her.
If you happen to be new to my channel today, hello, I'm Robin, and I'm so happy that you're here. If you've made it this far in my video, hopefully you've liked my content enough that you'll hit that thumbs up button and maybe even subscribe before you leave today. I would also love for us to follow each other over on Instagram. If you have an account over there, some people don't have one and that's okay, but if you do, it's the same as my YouTube channel. It's at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on the screen and I'd love for us to follow each other over on that platform. Okay, friends, that's going to be it for today's video. My kitchen is definitely coming right along. Be sure to come back next week where I'll be decorating my open shelving. And then we'll move on to my dining room. I'm going to do my hutch in red and white decor this year, so it's going to be extra cute. So be sure to come back next week, and we'll also do a tiered tray in between those videos. Thanks for coming, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next week. Bye.